Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am sitting down with you to share something that I never really have and do a little activity that I've never really done. I've been in business for several years now and I've been really busy and really happy with the way that my business has kind of been going. Very grateful for that. But as I start to get so busy, like I just start to sit down and think about the things that I'm missing out on or the things that, you know, are just kind of being run for me. They always say you should be running your business. Your business shouldn't be running you. And at times lately, because I've been so busy, I've kind of been feeling like, my business has been running me. So I've been thinking a lot more about goals and being way more intentional, being way more strategic with the type of work that I'm taking and things like that. And one of the things that I thought the other day, I was like, you know what? I need to sit down and I need to create a mood board or a vision board, whatever it is that people call them nowadays. That's something that I've never done. Fun fact, I've never done a business plan. I've never done a vision board. I've never done like a free write about what my goals are for my business. I've never done any of that stuff. I've always been like, oh, that's cheesy. I mean, the business plan isn't cheesy. I get the point of those, but I've always just kind of fell into things and adapted. And I think that that's a big strength, but I also think that planning and dreaming big and just doing things that really matter to you is really important. So the other day I went to Target, I got some supplies and I am going to go ahead and make a mood board. So, so the first thing that really I wanted to make sure to include in my mood board was community. Community has been such an important factor in my business lately. And again, that's one of those things that I always kind of wrote off as being really cheesy or kind of scammy. Like I really ran from the idea of being a coach. I really didn't want to do that. I didn't want to be another business coach on the internet. You know, I, I just think that there are sometimes negative connotations with coaching and things like that. And I started coaching in the past couple years and I feel like that is where I thrive. I've had some incredible success stories. I've had some incredible relationships, met some amazing people, really grown as a professional and just truly changed people's lives. I'm not mincing words when I say that. So honestly, that's one aspect of things, but also just community in general. I have never branded myself as the Detroit business or Detroit brand, and I don't want to still. Most of my clients are actually international, and I'm very proud of that. I don't personally um, consider myself like a local business, if you will, but I do think getting out there into the world and just making friends, talking to people is so, so important. So along with community, that's a great time for me to announce to you guys something very near and dear to my heart, which is my group coaching program, which is finally launched and has been very highly requested. So this program is available for you right now. You can go ahead and reserve your spot right here. I'm gonna leave the link in the description box as well. But basically what will happen is you'll be matched up to up to eight other entrepreneurs or aspiring entrepreneurs as well as me. And we'll hop on a video call every other week for the next 12 weeks. It actually starts in October, so it's not quite started yet. All the dates are on my website. You know, one of the first things that we're going to be covering is actually this. This this video is like the perfect time to talk about it because we're going to be doing a lot of planning and dreaming and goal setting and projections for our business and really getting our business off to the right foot. Because again, I think that this is one of the big things that I did wrong is they just like let my business run me and then I got burnt out. So that's one of the first things that we're going to cover, but we're going to cover a different module every single week that we meet and go ahead and share what's going on in our business, get feedback from each other, get ideas, you know, get everything out on the table and do a bunch of cool activities together and things like that. So not only are you getting this incredible support group, but you're also getting the knowledge Sometimes we'll have some guest instructors going to get a really cool workbook and maybe some other fun swag and things like that. So I'm super excited for it to launch. So yeah, go over to my website if you're interested. It's the most affordable coaching rate that I've ever offered. And I'm even offering a very affordable payment plan. So you can pay in three payments as well. So I'm super excited. I want this to be very accessible for most people. So you're going to get six total meetings for that rate that's on the page. So keep that in mind. The spots will fill up. So if you're interested, Head over there. But another thing I wanted to focus on on my mood board was uh, organization. 
if you could see what is going on around me, it is chaos. Norris and I have both been traveling a lot, so we have like travel stuff going on. I, I just have been disorganized in all aspects of the word. And it's funny because I seem like I have it all together. Like my clients, they're always shocked when I tell them I'm quite disorganized in my personal life. They're always like, oh my gosh, you're so put together. You, you got everything going on for me. I can fake it, okay? But I really want to get specifically my personal life a little bit more organized, you know? Um, I don't know what that means for me. I've tried co-working spaces and I don't like them. So I don't know if that means opening up a Jameson Park headquarters and having a small office space for myself to get away to. I don't know if it means changing apartments and moving somewhere where I can have more space. I don't know yet, but I do know that I need to get organized. And like, I, I do not thrive in chaos. I used to always say that when I was younger, I would be like, I thrive in chaos. You know, like I'm, I'm a messy creative and this is just how I work best. But I really think that was just kind of like a way to get my mom off my back for getting me to clean up my room. It, people don't thrive this way. Like I, I don't do good work when I'm living in chaos. So that's one thing I'm going to focus on. And the last big thing that I wanted to focus on in my mood board was actually kind of a superficial one. It's personal style. If you've been with me for a long time, you might know this. I actually started this YouTube channel as a beauty and style channel. And it was really focused on makeup and fashion and things like that. And I'm not into that anymore. I pretty much do my makeup the exact same every day, if at all. Most days I don't wear makeup at all, but I do it the same way if I'm gonna film a video. And clothing, when you work from home, I mean, I just get real comfortable. When I do go out to see clients or go to networking events, I kind of have my staple pieces and that's it. And I don't get out of my comfort zone. And it's funny because I had this interaction the other day at a coffee shop and this was nothing, he did nothing wrong, absolutely nothing wrong, but it just made me laugh. Um, I was asked if I had a student discount and I was like, oh no, it's been like a while since I've been a student. And I was telling Norris about it and I was like, you know, maybe when I go to work at coffee shops, I should dress more like a business owner and less like a student. I shouldn't, I, it's been, almost a decade since I am the, it's been a decade actually since the normal age to start college. People shouldn't be confusing me for a college student. And not that there's anything wrong with being a college student, obviously, but I just want to get back into having fun with that stuff. You know, as cheesy or superficial as it sounds, I do think that the way that you dress is an extension of you and your personality and it can really give off a good impression or a bad impression. And I don't think that I dress like, you know, I've crawled out of a dumpster or anything, but I do have, um, you know, I think I'm an interesting person and I don't necessarily think that the way that I dress always showcases that. Last year, right before my dad died, I actually bought this really colorful, big sweater. And you guys may have seen that before. And I was like, you know what? I want to start wearing color. I'm notorious for wearing black all the time. And then my dad died and I was like, you went into this kind of period of mourning where I was wearing black all the time again. And I think I'm at the point again where I'm like, you know what, I'm ready to introduce color because it makes me happy. I like to look at colors. And although I think black and nude and tan are more flattering on me, life is short. Like wear things that make you happy. You can make fashion mistakes, it's fine. Like it doesn't matter. So that's another thing that I want to include on my mood board. So, so I hope that you enjoyed this video and let me know if you decide to do a mood board or a vision board, what are they called? I think it's vision boards. Let me know if you do a vision board of your own, just tag me on social. I change all my social handles to the Latasha James, by the way. So Instagram, Twitter, everything is the same, Facebook, uh, everything was all over the place before. So I'm easy to find now. So tag me if you do your own vision board. And again, I would love it if you went ahead and applied for the group coaching program. It kicks off in October and it is going to be such a good time. I don't want you to miss out on it. So again, you can go to latashajames.com slash coaching to get more details on that. And I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.